Um, hello and welcome to Cloud Native Glossary, Trusted, Simply, com uh, Simple, Community Driven. I'm Catherine Paganini, Head of Marketing and Community at Buoyant, the creator of Linkerd, and I'm, I'm also one of the maintainers of the glossary as well as the co-chair of, uh, of the tag contributor strategy. So why do we need a community driven uh, glossary? Aren't there enough uh, definitions out there? There certainly are, but there are some issues with the status quo. Let's see why. First, when you Google a cloud native term, you're most likely going to get a vendor provided definition. And while vendors did a great job at helping us understand these complex concepts, it's less from ideal because, well, first, it's, it might be biased towards the product or their opinionated view. It's often also just a marketing tactic, such as SEO optimization. And I should know, I work in marketing and have applied these tactics myself. Then it's not necessarily kept up to date. A definition might have been a priority at some point, but then priorities shift. Once a definition is out of sight, it's out of mind, it's never updated, and that is a problem because we all know technology changes really fast. And then we see that the audience changed. Increasingly more people are involved in cloud native decisions. For instance, whether a company should migrate to a microservices architecture is not a decision that is done isolated in the engineering department. These projects cost millions of dollars and need buy-in from the leadership team and boardroom. But if we look out there, most cloud native content is written for a technical audience. That makes it really hard to understand for people with no technical background. So how can the C-suite make these critical decisions without content they can easily understand? And then a lot of cloud native content is in English, but not everyone in our community is a native speaker. Understanding these concepts is hard, is not, hard enough, let alone in a foreign language. That, that's why we need good cloud native content in multiple languages. So that's the why. Let's now talk about the glossary and how it addresses these challenges. So the glossary provides definitions from a trusted source that is vendor neutral and community driven. And that is key uh, for, for the definitions to be um, objective and up to date. And then we try to use easy language, free from buzzwords with daily examples um, whenever possible because we wanna make it accessible for a technical and non-technical audience alike. And even technical people will really appreciate the easy accessible language. After all, this is really complex stuff. And then we have more non-native English speakers than English speakers in our community. And to make the glossary even more accessible, we're trying to localize it, uh, localize it into as many languages as possible. Currently, we have eight languages live, two more in the making, and hopefully many more in the future. And it's really exciting to see how teams all around the uh, world are working on this effort. And then we launched last year at KubeCon NA, so happy first birthday glossary. That, uh, so let's talk a little bit about um, our approach. We try, to tr uh, we try to focus on the minimal viable definition, at least from a technical point of view. We don't wanna save on examples or words, the things that make a definition easier to understand. But if a technical detail is not needed, we'll skip it. We don't wanna overcomplicate things. We wanna provide a high level overview to give the reader a foundation so they can read on and dig deeper if they need to. So the glossary is fairly new, but our goal is to be the most trusted, objective, and up-to-date cloud native definition. We wanna be a go-to resource for newbies and pros alike, ideally in their, in their native languages. But to achieve that, we need your help. First thing you can do is use it. Use it to learn about cloud native terms. Use it to link back to definitions whenever you write about it. And use it to educate your customers and colleagues. And as you use it, and if you see something that's outdated, needs improvement, or is missing, please submit a PR and raise an issue. That is how the glossary will improve over time. So um, that's uh, the glossary. Just a quick um, announcement. We are looking for technical reviewers. So if you're really passionate about Cloud Native and uh, really good at explaining these uh, terms, please join us. Uh, you can find more information in our contributor letter or just swing by the Linkerd or Boeing booth and talk to myself at the conference. Uh, that's it, thank you so much. Please use the glossary and don't, and tell others about it. Thank you so much.